Our next topic is going to be how to temporarily turn off any antivirus or malware prevention software. And again, this is on the same um, same page as uh, uh, let's let me get to the top here as how to fix network connection and issues in Windows 10. What I'm doing is just breaking down each section into a video, um, and we're kind of crawling down this page because there's a lot on this page. So we're getting near the bottom. Um, if you're getting to this point at the bottom, then um, should be getting to where you're finding a solution. Um, so let's let's break down this next piece. Um, I'm going to show you how to turn off your antivirus. I'm going to assume in this case that you're using Windows Defender. Uh, a lot of you may not be, but it comes uh, as a default for Windows 10. Um, I'm using it on this computer. Haven't really had any problems. Um, with malware or antivirus, but one of the things they would like you to try if you're still having uh, wireless uh, network connection issues is to turn off antivirus and malware temporarily and see if you just can't uh, get to a website or see if uh, see if you can end up connecting and getting internet access in this uh, icon right here, this wireless icon. So what they have you do is type system and security in um, in your uh, search box here. But I'm going to take this from the standpoint that you're using Windows Defender. Um, let's let's start with that. And what I'm going to do is just type in Windows Defender and click on Windows Defender settings. Now what Windows 10 is going to bring you up to is basically the area where it keeps its antivirus and malware uh, settings. So what we can do is open Windows Defender and I'm going to show you what it looks like before I turn it off. Notice everything's green. It says PC status is protected. Uh, the, it's got the scanning options. Uh, the virus and spyware definitions are up to date. The real-time protect, protection's turned on. You see the last time I did a scan uh, was a couple of days ago because today is the 28th of December 2016. And so let's let's go ahead and do what they suggest which is Let's go ahead and turn off real-time protection. And once we do that, see we get a pop-up in the uh, in the notification center right here. Um, it, they want you to turn on virus protection. It's just letting you know that hey, you've got it turned off. And now you can see it. Everything's in red. Of course, it says it's going to scare you half to death with your PC is at risk. It's not at risk right at this second. So. Um, Let's surf like we did on the previous video where we turned off the firewall. And let's just see if we can get uh, get to a website. And in this case, we can. So if you weren't able to get to a website before and you turn Windows Defender and the malware off and you can get to it, then you know there's a problem there. Um, and you may want to take a look at and see if you need uh, an update or you've turned Windows Update off and you probably need to get that uh, turned back on and get get this stuff corrected. So let's um, let's go back to um, our main screen. Okay, this is where our settings were and I'm gonna close this out. And let's go ahead and just turn this back on as simple as that. And let's take a look and see what Windows Defender looks like now. And now you can see it's green again. So. Uh, the PC status is protected, everything's in green, and Windows 10 is very happy.